Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu, and we are back with the finale. It's episode 63, or 25, of Hiroaka. Last time, we got some interesting stuff on the world being sort of overrun with lots of villains. Uh, they're coming out of the woodwork. We got it from Twice's perspective, which was interesting. You got some depth on him. <laughs> and then we met a new character. Actually, three new characters, but one of them in particular is of great import. And he is the blonde guy of the big three. And he seems to be able to phase through stuff. Pretty cool power. I, I wonder if it's an ability to make himself intangible, or if his ability is to become part of objects. I think it's intangibility. That seems to be that seems to be more likely as a more versatile power. And he was focused on as maybe somebody who somebody had their eye on as a successor a successor for All Might. We shall see. Let's get right into it. Hiroaka finale. Countdown timer. Boop, 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 beep. Beep, green light. Same frame as this starts playing. So if you're playing along, that's when you want to hit the button. Which I'm going to do. Timer goes here. Repeat. They make them really imposing by not showing their faces here. Last time hearing this OP. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, the way her hair comes together. Oh, wow. Is it intensity or is this his quirk? He 
He's got social anxiety. The way her hair crosses over itself is really cute. Her whole thing is, is spirals. No. Oh, okay. She is talking to Todoroki. She's super earnest. What's her quirk, though? He's totally... Yeah, what? He's very almighty. But off. He's got a simplified character design for his face. It's unique. That's a hell of a way to demonstrate a character's power. He just wants to fight Deku. So frustrated, like with with not being able to to hurt him because he can be, become intangible. Won't matter. Those feelings she's put away. Infinite. Everybody strike your pose. He's not moving. Wait. Nope. He's only openings. He's fully intangible. He's in the floor. Oh. 
And he can control his tangibility. He can warp? Because he has to be nude? A certain hero? Wow. So above endeavor and mostly because of his personality, who's that certain person that he worked with? All Might? Unrivaled. Mm. He's so far above you. Ooh, if he's if his ability is actually warping and he just warps like perfectly when things pass through him, that could be something. Just run and train on them. That's a you say run version in the background. Oh, he's good with the hair up. Ah, uh, it's the work that he put in, bro. Of course you do. The earth spins. No? Oh. Oh! Hmm.
So he has to predict everything. Training. Mm. Yeah, you won't be babied. Yep. You gotta be ready. So we get everyone being resolved. Ah, uh, bit more, more of that. And now, what? Yep. Which you've shown the ability to do, just a little bit. Like you'll have to do. Somebody whose back you can look at. <laughs> chin chin. <laughs> Yeah. Who's sir? Okay. Why, Mom? Nope. 
<coughs> Who are you? So it looks like we're not going to get a villain set up. Maybe. There might be time left. So? Yeah, you should use whatever connections you have. Anybody. Everybody. Is that the sir? I'll bet that's the sir who? Sir. Ah. Hmm. So that's the link. Is that a comb over? So we do get a villain set up. Lovely. <clears throat> yep. <sighs> Last time here in this OP or er, ED. That's too bad. Sweet. Well, there's really not that much to say about this episode because it was mostly just everything is in its place and next season was, is coming. Um, I like Mirio as a character. I think he's really cool. 
uh, a guy with an interesting quirk with limitations that can be used in an extraordinary and extraordinarily strong way, but because he's practiced so much with it. That's good. It's, it's something, and, and he is a mirror for Deku in some ways. So it's something for Deku to look up at and strive toward. Now that All Might is not in the picture as All Might, and his rivalry with Bakugo is sort of in a rival, the at same level rivalry type place. So that's cool. Uh, and then there's the setup for these villains who we really don't understand, but they seem to be able to melt something into us, something else. Don't really know. Um, just guessing because we saw those other like minor villains with their body parts like fused to a truck, which is pretty creepy. So we'll we'll find out. This has been the finale. It was it was a finale. Um, the climax was definitely two episodes ago. It was the fight, and this has been sort of the resolution episodes, which have been good. Yeah, that's about all I have to say about it. I'm looking forward to season four because Hero Walk is good. I wonder when it comes out. Let me check that while I'm while I'm recording. Officially announced. Yeah, what what's the release date? Probably spring 2019. Okay. But no official release date yet. Cool. Well, I will look forward to that. We've got winter to get through. Gotta finish fall. Then winter, then spring. So it'll be a little while. But someday soon. Hirowaka will return and i will definitely watch it when it airs for season four should be good all right i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it up i've been tibu this has been boku no hero academia episode 63 or 25 of season three um i'll just say that if you've enjoyed this this series and the fact that i'm releasing it all for funsies um and you can afford it and like my content. Patreon.com slash exists, and it would be awesome to have more of you along in the Discord channel, voting on polls, and watching my early access content along with me. Just throwing that out there. So, I've been Tibu. This has been Hero Academia Season 3 in totality, at least starting from where I started and to now. Um, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.